everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So for today's video, this is going to be a review on It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vizzini. I'm going to try and do my best not to give any spoilers away in this and obviously I've never done a book review on my channel before so I apologise if it is not the best. Um, I do find it difficult to explain certain things but I'm going to really try and how can you get better at something if you don't attempt it first. So I hope you enjoyed this video anyway and let's just go on into the amazing book that is It's Kind of a Funny Story. So as you can probably tell I really enjoyed this book. I think I gave either a 4.5 out of 5 stars or a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads and this book literally is one of my favourite books of all time. I'll just say that before I start. I'm going to try and be unbiased but I really do enjoy this. So this book revolves around the life of a young teenager named Craig Gilner and he is a student in New York City and he wants to get into a high school where it's quite elite so he can get into an Ivy League school obviously after he finishes high school for college. And under this obviously there is a tremendous amount of pressure and from this Craig cannot keep up with the growing pace of work that he has to do, the assignments he has to do, his friends, his family, pressures of just teenage life and he ultimately falls into anxiety. This anxiety leads to depression and one day Craig gets so far that he tries to commit suicide and Craig realises that he has more to his life than this so he decides to opt out of trying to commit suicide and admit himself into a psychiatric hospital in Manhattan and he then just meets some really interesting characters that help him through this process and come to terms that it's okay not to be the best at everything and there is more to life than just succeeding at high school, college and just being happy. He meets some characters along the way that help him do this and he meets obviously love interests and this drama and it's honestly just a phenomenal book. And this is actually mirrored on Ned Vizzini's actual life. He spent some time in a psychiatric hospital when he was younger. Um, it bases it around a different person, Craig, but it has definitely got um, elements to his life in it. And obviously when writing a book about such an important um, topic such as mental health, you really have to do it right where you're sensitive enough but you also provide enough information and I think Vizzini done this absolutely perfectly. Um, obviously he did suffer from depression himself and he sadly committed suicide because of this and he just tackled it amazingly. He made it so um, easy to understand and obviously this book does centre around Craig so he is our main character and you see him grow the most as a character and I find that that's a really nice thing to witness because you see him from the beginning of the novel and then you see his progress at the end and it's wonderful to see. Obviously there are a lot of other minor characters such as Craig's family, Craig's friends that are not in the psychiatric hospital and also the friends that Craig meets on the psychiatric hospital. Learn a little bit about each character and something that I didn't like in the book was that I kind of just left off um, without saying a lot about the minor characters and I can understand why Vizzini done this because it is 444 pages I believe so you can't really fit all of that into such like a small book. I just kind of felt like you got to know these characters but then you didn't really know them and you didn't connect to them as much as you could have. Also there is some people in the psychiatric hospital that I thought were going to have more of a part and I don't know, that is like a problem that I did have with the book. I just thought that the minor characters could have been um, talked about a little bit more, especially the ones in the psychiatric hospital that were going through this with Craig. And I just thought it would have been interesting. Um, but nonetheless, I don't think it really differed from the story that much. I just think it could have benefited from a little bit of that. And this book makes you feel a variety of feelings. It definitely has some really funny moments and it has some serious moments moments that make you want to cry and you really feel sorry for Craig and the other people that surround him and other times it makes you really annoyed because there are certain characters in here that I particularly didn't um, like that much and they just really annoyed me. So there's definitely like a lot of emotions going on when you're reading this book which I really enjoy. It's not just um, like a one dimensional piece, it's really interesting and gripping to read which I really love. Also, I think this kind of is very similar to one of my favourite books, Girl Interrupted by Susanna Kaysen. It definitely has elements of Perks of Being a Wallflower in there as well, I feel anyway. And those are two of my favourite books and I just feel like this is definitely on the same par as them. I consider them amazing books and this is definitely up there with them. And I just think that this book should definitely be read by teenagers especially that are dealing with mental health issues themselves. The pressures of high school, pressures of... Um, their friends and just try to get peer pressured etc and I just think that everyone could benefit from reading this especially if you don't have that much knowledge about mental health I think that this absolutely deals with it 
extremely well and I think what this book focuses on as well is one day you could be at the lowest point of your life and the next it could be your happiest so I really liked the way that he portrayed this and I apologize if I'm not really getting my point across here all too well um, I am trying to learn how to kind of speak about my opinions better I know there is a movie adaption of the book I have not watched it because I saw the trailer and it didn't really appeal to me and I love this book so much that I don't really want to ruin it with a movie that I don't think done it justice. I think that's all the thoughts that I want to discuss on it's kind of a funny story. If you did think anything about this book or you agreed or disagreed with me with any of the points definitely leave it in the comments below and we can have like a discussion and if you do want to read more of a thought out um, review that isn't me just talking to a camera and on the spot sort of, I did write a review on my blog. If you want to follow it it's just um, arts dilemma. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go out and read this because it will change your perception on so many things and it will just bring you to light to an amazing book and author and I cannot express how much this book impacted me as a reader and I love it so much. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It would make my day. Until next time, I hope you all have a great day. Bye guys!